What's up, guys? It's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, today's video is a sponsored video. Orca Torch has sent us another flashlight to test and do testing on and see what our actual thoughts are on it. Now, this is the model TD-01. This is a headlamp um, top flashlight. And so we're going to take a quick look at what comes in the box. And we're going to take it out and do several dives with it. We're going to dive during the day, we're going to dive during the night, and we're going to test out each function and feature of it and see exactly what our thoughts are on the TD-01 from Orca Torch. All right, so let's take a quick look and see exactly what all comes in the box here. Looks like we've got a case that is a Cordoa type material here. It's a nice zipper case. I really like cases like this because it does protect your lights, gives you a place to carry spare batteries, things like that. Well, let's go ahead and get it unzipped, see what all comes in the case itself. Looks like we're going to have some type of strap system. I'm going to go ahead and make an assumption here. This is the headband. Like I stated earlier, this is a headband light, so you can wear it, obviously, on your head if you choose to do so. And it looks like it's got a GoPro mount, so that's kind of unique from a flashlight company to use a GoPro type mount. Uh, looks like we've got another little bolt here. We've got a couple of spare O-rings. Does look like we got an 18650 rechargeable battery. It does have a plug-in port here that we can charge the battery with. Of course, it does come with a corresponding cord. And then, of course, it does come with a couple of extra screws, which I'm going to make an assumption has something to do with one of the mounts here. We've actually got another uh, bolt here. It looks to be a little bit longer than the first. And then it looks like we have a mount system here. If I can get this one out. This particular mount appears to be from a helmet type mount. So I would say we'd be able to mount this system, which looks like a GoPro mount. I'm going to say we mount that to that, and then this will actually mount to a helmet as well, not just a headband. So that's pretty cool that not only can we wear this light as a headband light, we can also wear it on a helmet as well. And we'll do some testing with the helmet and see exactly how that works. And then, of course, we've got the light itself here. Um, looks like we got several different modes, and we're going to read through the manual here briefly just to see what the modes are. But it looks like we've got a red light and a white light. And judging by how many clicks here, I assume this is a magnetic switch. Looks like we've got several different modes as far as the color. So we're going to have several different brightnesses as well. And this side over here, I'm going to assume is the battery compartment. So let's just unscrew it really quick. And it does look like the battery compartment does have a single O-ring seal here. Actually, no, I'm sorry. That's two O-ring seals there, which is really cool. And then we can insert our battery and see if it tells us which way it goes. I'm just going to put the positive down, see if that works and put get the battery installed and it looks like we got it installed correctly so yeah we got multiple modes here so it looks like we got a low beam a high beam that must the center must be the off and then we got a red beam a low red beam and then of course we got a strobe feature there in sos mode so yeah let's break into the manual really quick and see what all it has to say about the td01 headlamp light all right, we do got quite a bit of paperwork here. We do have a warranty card as well. Um, this just looks like a product catalog sent by Orca Torch. Shows all their other different products that are currently on the market. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Kind of lets you know whatever uh, products you might be in the market for. And then we, of course, have a user manual here. And it does look like it comes in two different languages here. I would assume one's going to be Chinese or Mandarin. That's obviously where these lights are from. And then, of course, the back side is the English. Um, it shows us how to insert the back battery, how to mount it to the head mount here. And then here's what I'm really interested in. So we do have a white light and a red light. The white light, high lumens, shows to be 1,200 lumens. It says it has a runtime of 1.45 or an hour and 45 minutes. The low lumens is 450 lumens at 3 hours and 15 minutes. And then on the red light side, on the high lumens, is 50 lumens with a 2 hour and 30 minute runtime. The low lumens for the red light uh, it's 15 lumens with an 8-hour, 45-minute runtime, And then the, the, what they're calling the signal light there is only 25 lumens. And it says it's almost got 9 hours. So it's 8 hours and uh, 50 minutes of runtime there. Uh, so, yeah, kind of take your screenshot there for you guys if you want to see a little bit more info on it. But let's, uh, let's get this thing mounted to several different components here and see exactly how we're going to run it. 
All right, guys, as you can see, I've got it on the head mount here. It was very easy to actually mount to it. Uh, to be honest, up here on land, it is kind of stable. I'm not that big of a fan of head mount lights, but if you're using this, say, at a campsite or something like that, it's very easy to kind of scroll through the modes here. Um, yeah, super easy to use. But I don't know if I would really trust this underwater. For me personally, I think I would rather have this, say, on a full face mask where obviously it's going to be hard mounted to it. It's not going to come off unless you take your full face mask off. Or even, say, on a helmet mount, which would really be useful for us, I could actually mount it to the helmet mount. And once again, it's going to be stable. It's not going to rock around. I don't run the risk of it falling off unless I take the helmet itself off. So really, to be honest, on a head mount like this, I don't know how much I would trust it when I'm underwater. But with that being said, I've got another mount that I think I'm going to add this thing to. I've got a spare Goodman mount to, and let's see if we can fashion it to the Goodman mount and see exactly how well it's going to work, say, as a hand mount light. All right, let's get this last screw tightened down here. Verify this one's good and tight. Perfect. All right, let's see how that does. Check it out. Here are our bolt snap. We have a Goodman style mount for the TD-01. Let's take this thing out and let's try it out. All right, guys, we're going to jump right into our underwater footage here, and we just took this thing out on night dive just to see how it would do. And as you can tell, I've actually got it on the lower setting here, and it's holding its own against all these other lights. Uh, here you can see this is the low beams. Um, I will go ahead and turn it to the um, brighter lumen here in just a second just to show you a difference there. I went to the brighter lumen, and you can tell there's definitely going to be a hot spot if you are close to an object. Even with the red beam as well, there's always going to be that hot spot if you're using that higher lumens and sometimes higher lumens is not always best uh, here we're on the lower lumen setting and we're just watching these bass feed at night um, and you can tell there's not much of one but there's still somewhat of a hot spot there dead center and that's one of the things I do like about this light in the sense there's two different beams you're gonna have a wide angle say an overall flood beam then you're also gonna have that smaller angle uh, spot beam there in the middle as well and here we'll see a great example of what a hot spot can be even on the lower or lumen setting as I get closer to this vessel you'll notice that there's that that real bright um, hot spot right dead center so I'm not sure this light would work great for photography especially not in the white uh, version uh, the red may work good to add some of the red back but even on the lower lumen setting it's going to be plenty bright for you you are going to have some reflection kick back at you but switching over to the red light and I'll be honest with you guys I kind of fell in love with the red light itself it's not as bright it's more ambient uh, if you will more ambient feel to it you can still see just as much without having too much of a hot spot and this is the lower red setting as well the lower lumen setting um, I, I barely ran either the red or the white at the higher lumen setting as well but I, yeah I think it's a great light it's going to do exactly what you need it to do you're going to have two additional settings on the white two uh, settings on the red as well and you can toggle between them very easily with that rotary switch there on the right hand side um, and like I said, I love the Goodman style handle here. It was very easy to use. I think personally it would work good for a searchlight too. Here you can see uh, if a public safety diver was using this as say a searchlight, um, maybe he was documenting a scene, something like that. You're not going to have that hot spot. So if you need to take pictures or videos, it's going to work good as well. And then of course here at the surface, we are going to signal with it. I'm roughly about 100 feet away from the camera. And you can see, I can see it very easily. I have no doubt we could see it a couple hundred, you know, maybe even a thousand yards away it just depends and of course this wouldn't be a lake hicker scuba video without doing some type of search and recovery so let's take this light really quick on a search and recovery uh, let's go ahead and take it down I'm still using it on the Goodman style handle I've really come to like that a lot um, here is the lower lumen setting. I'll turn it, go ahead and turn it on to the higher lumen here in just a second to show you the difference. As you can tell, our water is very, very turbid. So the higher the lumens, the less you're actually going to see. You're going to see more of the turbidity than anything else. But as I descend on down in the water column, uh, here you can clearly see there's two beams. There is the spot beam and there is the 
uh, flood beam as well in there. I toggle down, toggle back up just to show you the difference. Uh, here's a great example of what a hot spot can be. This is on the higher setting here, and it's just a, a huge hot spot there. So I really don't think the higher lumens to 1200 lumens is always necessary to use. Uh, I do think it will blind you as you get closer to an object, depending on the clarity of the water, of course. But uh, just playing with it a little bit more, just showing you the difference in the modes here and, and what they're actually used for. To be honest, I kind of like the lower lumen of the white light. All right, guys, there you go. That's my review of the Orca Torch TD-01 head mount light. Uh, what do I actually think about this light? Well, to be honest, I kind of love it. Um, it's right there in that lumen mark that I personally like. You guys know I'm a huge fan of a thousand lumen lights. 1200 can be slightly overpowering, but the fact that you can change the lumens very quickly underwater at will makes it very nice. And I kind of fell in love with the red light as well. I didn't get that glare back, you know, if you get close to an object underwater. I like the fact that it does have a rechargeable battery, although I think I would have changed the 18650 that's got the port in the side to charge with a standard 18650. I personally prefer a charger that I put the batteries in, you know, instead of just plugging it into a wall or, say, a computer or something like that. And we all have spare 18650s laying around, so it's always good to have just a spare one laying around as well. So I'd rather have a charger instead of the actual one that's got the port in the side. Um, I love the fact it's got the GoPro mount. The GoPro mount made it very easy to mount it to a helmet or to a full face mask or in this case even say a uh, Goodman style handle. Now one thing that I wasn't keen on is the helmet mount that they actually send here is really really cheap plastic. I feel like I can break it with my hand and I don't like this. I would rather have an aluminum or a little bit sturdier uh, mount and the one that I personally use on my helmet is an aluminum mount. That'll be the one that I continue to use. So this one I think they could do a little bit better on. And of course the head mount that comes with it as well you know, it'd be great for land use if you was using it as a camping light or something like that, although I think 1,200 looms is a little much for a camping light. But I definitely wouldn't use that underwater. I'd rather put it on a helmet, full face mask, or in the case I did, a spare Goodman style handle. But guys, that's going to do it for my review. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I personally like this lot, and I am going to switch over and start using this as a primary for a while and just see how it goes over the next few months. But guys, if you like this review, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it. If you would like to purchase this lot, check the link down below. It's going to go straight to Orca Torch's page. You can purchase it for yourself. Yes, they did sponsor this video. However, we don't get any proceeds from those sales it will go directly to Orca Torch. But guys, once again, that's going to do it for the video. If you liked it, big thumbs up. Definitely share it. If you got any questions, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer it as quick as I can and as best I can as well. And if you've got any use with the TD-01, let me know down in the comment section what you personally think about the light as well. But until our next video, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.